So in this video, we're going to talk about tunnels and we're going to configure a tunnel between VOS 1 and VOS 3. So the traffic is just going to go over the tunnel and not uh, through the physical interfaces, even though it is going through the physical interfaces, it's going to be encapsulated. VOS 2 would not know about it. Uh, let's make sure one thing that this VOS 1, 2, and 3 is not the same VOS 1, 2, and 3 from the previous videos because the tunneling is broken in that. So this one is 1.2. All of these are 1.2s instead of 1.3. I had tested the tunneling on 1.3, it's broken. So you might want to do a download on 1.2, which has tunneling working. It's the basic routing prerequisite is your VOS1 should be able to reach VOS3 interface. 1001 should be able to ping 1003, which is the case here. <clears throat> so let's configure the tunnel interface. Tunnel zero or whatever number you like. And when you do question mark, you'll get all the options here. What you need to do is configure a local IP. For tunnel zero, the local IP on VOS1 or V1 here is going to be 1001. And the remote IP is going to be this guy, 2003, because you can reach him. And then the address for this tunnel is going to be 1301 or whatever you like. Let's see if there's one more thing we need to do, which is the encapsulation, generic routing encapsulation, GRE. Hopefully this comes up. It did. <clears throat> Let's do the same on this guy. Set interface tunnel. Tunnel zero encapsulation GRE. Local IP here is going to be 2003. Remote IP is going to be 1001. And the address would be. it ourselves and then the other guy there you go bingo and this guy has no clue about 13 network 13 so now we're tunneling between 1 and 3 over 2 so you can imagine VOS2 is like an internet and you're just VPNing it it's not secure but it's tunneled that's how your basic tunneling is going to work 